and welcome to this video which is about uh, exploring data in python with just one line of code so so far if you have seen my videos uh, you have seen that we have used pandas to describe the data to generate some statistics with the help of histograms or scatter metrics but in this video i will show you how you can generate all of that information with just one line of code and before we move ahead i have just one quick request that if you have learned something new in this video then do let me know with the help of a comment as it motivates me to know your perspective and create better educational video for you so i look forward to receive your comment about what you have learned so let's go ahead and first of all see the import pandas spd that has been our traditional way and uh, with that I have one dataset file which is already loaded iris.csv in my previous videos also I have used it so if you don't have the file you can you see the link in the description all right so I will create an object iris with the help of pd.read underscore csv and within that I can simply mention iris.csv and that's the benefit if you upload the file within the same folder where your Jupyter notebook is so in that case you don't have to write any long path of the file location and that's pretty much it I need to do because it is a CSV file and the way we start doing the exploration of the data is first of all looking the head which shows the first five rows gives us the information about uh, how many uh, what the data looks like so it's basically first the row number then the four variables which are having numerical information and then species and then something like iris.hist is something which will create a histogram for us and i think for that we may have to do percentage matplotlib in line and I believe it will start showing us the data so or probably I just need to put it early and then show it yeah so this way I have the information over here so this is a magic command which basically helps us quickly show the visualization otherwise I will have to import the matplotlib library if you have seen my previous video you must have noticed that now all of this information and not just this but uh, think about the missing values the correlation chart and you know all these different aspects like uh, how many variables that you have uh, what is the correlation among each other and all that sort of information so what you can do is simply use the profiling package so what I'll do is I will just import pandas underscore profiling this is a package if you don't have what you can do is you can create you can uh, install this using pip install pandas underscore profile link and this command will going to install the pandas profiling package within your ecosystem so since I already have it I will just go ahead and execute it so it will take a couple of seconds yeah it's executed and now I just have to say iris dot pandas underscore profiling profiling that is it uh, did some error data frame has no attribute iris yeah this is iris I guess I use the wrong function profile underscore report yeah that's a function and now it will take a couple of seconds like uh, five to seven seconds to generate the entire report in a very beautiful fashion which is sort of a HTML report or the HTML document or uh, a document which is mat uh, this particular the markdown document where you have the different charts and uh, link yeah so now that the information is over here and if I just scroll down from this below this command we have pandas profiling report and it is overview variables correlation missing values and sample so in overview this is the section 
an overview what you have is basically the data set information about how many number of variables you have the number of observations missing cells duplicate rows just one duplicate row total size in memory average record size and then the variable types like there are three numerical variables one category very very uh, important information once you start working with any data set just to know about how many uh, numerical variable boolean variable date url text all of that uh, information just present over here with the help of just one single line which is on iris dot profile underscore report and once you have this information down there it shows that uh, some of the warnings you should be aware about the data set has just one duplicate row and petal width is the hi is highly correlated with petal length and uh, that is something you should take care of when you are uh, building a model because high correlation means that uh, it is it may be the causation and causation is not useful when you are building a model and if we further go down we have the variables section so either you can come on the top and click on the variable it will take you to the variable and you will have the header saved for you so click on variable or overview or correlation or missing values or sample this thing is properly hyperlinked and uh, variables is something uh, where you have four numeric variables and one categorical variable so it shows the petal length the information about uh, how many distinct value that it has unique percentage missing values missing percentage what is a mean minimum maximum and then over here it's the histogram a quick histogram about uh, the petal length variable so you don't need to create all of this information one by one and put it in, in a sort of a report this one single line is doing all of that information for you down there it has shown that petal width and shown highly correlated and given a quick comment that this variable is highly correlated with petal dot length and should be ignored for analysis so clearly indicating this information but in cases like you would really want to indicate you can uh, or you really want to use it you can go ahead and use it again down there you have information about the sepal length the histogram and then sepal width and the histogram for the sepal width finally you have the species a categorical data clearly showed you that what is the distinct count unique value and then the three values uh, that is present within the species so all of that information you have it down there you have correlation section so you have multiple correlations very well presented uh, in a sort of a scatter matrix like this and uh, one indicates high correlation minus one indicates very low correlation so you have pearson correlation spearman correlation candles correlation fake correlation kramer's correlation and finally recorded all of that different almost six different sections in over here related to the correlation is present for one single data set just think about how much time you would really spend in creating all of that visualization for you and finally down there uh, information about the missing values here it shows the percentage of missing values like uh, how many values are missing and over here total count of the value it basically indicates that no values are basically missing and all these different well different uh, variables have all 150 values finally you have a uh, sample so first rows is a couple of first rows of the sample and the last rows like for example head and tail that you have apart from this there is a link that report generated with the pandas profiling you can come over here right click and click on new tab it will open up the github uh, pandas profiling package from where you can read about its documentation if you want to go very much in depth about uh, documentation and some advanced usage but uh, it will uh, it is just an information about the entire package that uh, they have created for you so uh, after this if you have a requirement uh, quickly about uh, let's say you want to give a proper name not just the pandas profiling report what you can give is basically the title uh, maybe iris statistical report or whatever your 
business use case is so many times uh, standard information like pandas nobody in your business will be aware about what is really pandas is because they are not the technical user like you so having much more user centric information will go in a long way when you are presenting the information but because at the end of the day you have to present it so that others can consume it and uh, giving some small parameters like uh, title will go in a long way so now it is an iris statistical report right uh, not only this um, if you want that uh, you want to take the output of this file into an html file so that let's say you have an intranet where you want to include this report as part of your intranet then you can even do that so i think the command is output underscore file equals to iris.html so if i execute uh, no let me see i'll just come here at the start and double click double tap shift tap tab and over here i can see the different arguments that are present uh, does not give me a lot of knowledge so what i can do is i can just uh, go to pandas profile we just make here let me generate the link once again because i remember it was something like output or output file not really sure okay so here we have the report and if i go to end right click over here and if i go down that's where i saw this all right output underscore file yeah i used it correctly but i was using i guess single quotes okay no worries we can change it title i was using the right parameter so output underscore file equals to iris.html all right output underscore file does not exist okay so another way by which you can do it if it is not accepting the parameter over here iris underscore profile so i have created an object right and now iris underscore profile the iris underscore profile and it is executing as you can see it is busy so i'll just wait for it for a couple of seconds and here we need to use the function to underscore file and we'll say output underscore file equals to iris dot html and now the file has been created so if i'm not sure why it was not working i think it was part of the or i was doing something plot okay two underscore file so we have to create one object for this which is iris underscore profile and this file is saved where your python notebook is which means this particular folder so iris underscore html i can right click and open it into a new and here is my iris statistical report very well standard report so that other stat other users who are aware or who wants to know more about this data set can see this like profiling correlation missing values sample everything is present in one good single report so that's what i wanted to show you what you can really do with the help of this package which is pandas underscore profiling if you want to know more about it that's the link i can put it into the description where you can go and learn more about it and don't forget like i said uh to to comment what you have learned and if you if you have figured it out something new about this package and want to share i highly recommend that you do that uh, using the comment section so that everybody else can also learn it including me so that's pretty much about it and uh, thank you for watching this video